Uh, the next uh, winner of uh, the Award of Distinction for the Hybrid Arts category in 2011 was uh, Christian, Christian Law. Uh, she lives and works as an artist, curator, and professor of media arts in Berlin and Leipzig. And she received numerous scholarships and awards, as well as uh, exhibited at home and abroad. She participated in art and architecture competitions and curated shows. And since 1994, she lectured and taught in various institutions and universities and since 2001, she has been a professor of media art at the <sighs> Hochschule von Grift und Wandkunst. That's my German for today. Um, the Academy of Visual Arts in Leipzig. And again, uh, the, uh, the jury was extremely happy to, to see the work. Uh, and I think it was a great example of um, this very intimate intervention within a system uh, that uh, represented for us what, what hybrid arts can, can really be, and, and this idea of, of a, a very uh, gesture uh, as, which can be seen as, as a very small gesture that has very significant ramifications, uh, and were an extremely important attempt to, to show what I discussed before, this idea of the, the contamination, the artist as a subversive agent uh, that contaminates a much larger uh, uh, structure uh, with uh, this, what I suppose can be referred to as, as some kind of a digital graf graffiti, uh, but much, much more than that. So uh, please, and uh, just to let you know, this uh, presentation is going to be in German. So thank you so much, Kirsten. Yes. Well, good afternoon. I'd better set the alarm clock. I could talk at great length about my project, of course, but I have only got 20 minutes. Machtgeschenke, that's the title of my project, Make a Gift. It investigates giving gifts in a society of profit maximization, focused on expansion, a society that has lost its values. So my a project, Machtgeschenke, uses the old medium of giving and transmitting money. Accounts are strictly controlled, at least the flow of money is controlled. It is possible to transmit money without any restrictions. Accounts are always open and ready to receive transmissions. There are no filter systems, no firewalls for transmitting money. And I don't know any accounts that have been closed because there was too much money on them. So money always find its, finds its way without any resistance. Information accompanying money, meaning the purpose of a gift, are independent of the amount transmitted. You can decide. So transmitting money, make it possible to express ideas and to set a signal. Of course, there are many ways of uh, using this approach. Let me just give you a few examples. You can donate regularly. You can earmark donations. You can also use these donations or gifts as a form of protest. And even the weakest impulse is immediately noticeable. It triggers off further transactions. It needs to be accounted, transferred, passed on. And it will automatically be recorded in all the accounts and books and is then documented. For tax purposes, you have to keep documents for 10 years. I use these uh, transferals ever since the 31st of 4th, 2009. I've been transferring the capital by Marx in the form of micro donations. I transmit that to the German Federal Ministry of Finance. And I um, enter 108 letters 
taken from Marx's book, A Critique of Political Economy. Bit by bit, the entire text of the book will be transferred into the state central account via online banking. So I transmit that to the Bundesbank, the federal bank. It takes about 15,709 cents in order to transmit the entire book, and that will take about 43 years. We stand at two years and four months. Every transmission is a transaction, and in accounting terms, every cent means disturbing the balance sheet, which always needs uh, to be balanced. So every cent that I transmit disturbs this balance. So. The Federal Ministry of Finance has two alternatives. Either it transfers the money back to me, which would be too expensive, or it sets up a special account, which uh, is then, sh well, shows a surplus in the annual balance sheet. In practice, the thing works as follows. I use transparent paper, and I delete or cross out letters without damaging the original text. And the amount of text is then recorded on a bank transfer, which is uh, then which goes to the account of the Bundesbank. So I enter this here in the control form, and then uh, there's an online transmission. So. This means that you get an illegible version of the capital, which of course changes over the years. Uh, in 43 years, I'll be 87 years old, and I think my letters will look different from what they look now. So these oversubscriptions um, and my own handwriting also play an important role in this project. Here you see a few more examples. I use transparent paper and I delete the individual letters one after the other. And this is what it looks like. Now, I've already indicated that the capital is a gift to the federal ministry. Ever since the end of May to, uh, 29, um, I have actually contributed homeopathic doses to um, reduce the national debt. And homeopathy takes quite some time. When you look at the amount of debt, 1,746,000 uh, euros, billion euros. So when you calculate the interest over uh, 43 years, it's roughly 15,709 cents. My gift actually, considering interest and compound interest, would actually pay off the national debt within 300 years. All this is based on the idea of what we call Joseph's penny. If Joseph had uh, uh, put one cent uh, on to a savings account, Jesus in 1600 would have received a bullet of gold with the weight of the earth. And in uh, 2006, it would have amounted to 43 billion. Euros. This shows you the power of this exponential function. So I document each and every um, transfer by means of a screenshot. I print it out once, I sign it, and give it away to 15,600 citizens or other people whom I meet in the course of my project. So I give them away. On February 9th, here we are at the Bundestag, the German Bundestag, on the 9th of February, 2010. I visited the Bundestag, accompanied by a TV team. 
and I actually worked as an intern for German television. I uh, distributed uh, since there, gave my uh, uh, transfers to members of parliament if they wanted to have one. If they wanted a money transfer, they got one. Mr. Steinmeier got one. Uh, here, another uh, member of parliament, Mr. Schick from the Green Party. You may know this gentleman, Christian Schribele, Thomas de Maizière, Mrs. Zypris, Mr. Rösler, he didn't want a money transfer, Mr. Brüderle took one and what looks like Momo and the grey gentleman are our members of parliament on their way to the Bundestag. Now, the Federal Minister of Finance, Mr. Schäuble, at the moment, this will going to change repeatedly in the next 41 years. So the Minister of Finance acts as a trustee for all the funds and our capital. And for this reason, on the 8th of February, it was nine months after the first money transfer, again accompanied by a TV team, I tried to get entry to the Federal Minister of Ministry of Finance to inform the minister about my donation, my gift to the federal government, and to inform him that he has to um, take care of the capital, it's not allowed to spend it, uh, to reduce the national debt. Rather, it has to be invested at a profit. Now, what happened is the capital produced administrative costs of about one euro. At, originally, now I have a um, file number and it's easier now to transfer the money. I can book it as a donation. Now, I tried to get into the ministry. I had not announced my visit. I joined other people, but that didn't work. So I had to leave the ministry. But then I handed a letter to Mr. Schäuble, and I also gave him a money transfer, because he was the first minister of finance who had to take care of this project. So he got money transfer number one uh, from the capital, a critique of political economy. So this gives you an idea of what my project looks like, the making of capital, or Machtgeschenke. I'd like to show you a video, an excerpt from a TV program, two minutes, which gives you an idea of what happened. So it's a documentation about my work, but it's actually difficult to decide who does what. Auf unsere Anfrage über Rechts- und Rassaktionen wissen, 
Ja, das war so ein kleines Beispiel, was dann so... Well, this was an example showing you what happens. So over a period of several decades, of course, I've entered into a personal relationship with the state. Most people think that the state is something abstract. However, my relationship has become quite intimate. And this personal approach is a very important element in this project. The state always stands for community, which means all of us. And what I'm trying to do is uh, getting to grips with it, understanding the relationship with the state. And this is the reason why I always try to establish personal contacts with politicians and policymakers and actually go to the ministry. Here, I was at the Bundestag once again in the lobby, in the canteen, in the Jakob Kaiser house, and I deposited scents everywhere. And uh, I also sort of distributed what uh, exhibition visitors gave me in form of gifts. I talked, or I looked at the uh, internal telephone directory. Here you have a list of all the phone numbers of uh, my interlocutors, the members of parliament. I got that as a gift. Very briefly, perhaps uh, an example to make you understand what I'm doing. I regularly have exhibitions demonstrating the activities which are invisible. That is to say, I try to get embedded in local structures. I participate in local events. I ask um, important people to let me chair the meeting, so to speak, for the duration of the exhibition. I then present my artistic activities and uh, then hand over the chair back to the original person. Taking over a chair is not always easy. It means a lengthy process of communication. It's always 
uh, the chair of a CEO, a throne, if you want, which has a symbolic value. But at the same time, it's just an object. But at the same time, it's also something intimate. So whenever I succeed to take over the chair for a certain period of time, I feel this is a gift. And I then, of course, express my thanks at the end of uh, the exhibition. I've added value to the chair through my artistic activity, and I also take a picture, a photograph of the chair. An example, the Folkwank Museum, the Transmediale. I took over the chair of the Director General. Here we see the exhibition hall. The Folkwank Museum was where I got the chair of David Chipperfield, the chair of the curator for contemporary art. Here we are in Geneva, where I got a table, a desk from the Social uh, a furniture business owned by a private banker originally. And the Societe, Societe Sociale was sponsored by IKEA. It's headed by the Protestant Church, and it helps um, socially deprived people. I took over that chair. Then I was once again at the Folkwang Museum. How much time have I left? One minute? Great. So very briefly, the chair at Linz. The mayor of Linz was kind enough to leave me his chair. So, for the remainder of uh, the Ars Electronica, you can see me at his desk in his chair. Here you can see the mayor giving me his chair. The chair travels through the city, and whoever wants to come and visit me, I'll be happy to receive you. This is what it looks like. And you can imagine what it's going to look like when I sit there. So thank you very much.